small and medium enterprises, they are the lifeline of our economy. And there are pockets of this lifeline that are hurting. Can Budget 2009 ease some of the pain? Welcome to We the SMEs, the only show that focuses on what small and medium enterprises want from Pranababu and, of course, take stock of whether or not Pranababu is A, listening, B, likely to deliver. I'm Manvi Dhillon. Let me introduce the panel of guests who are joining me today. Vinny Mehta, Executive Director with the Manufacturers Association for Information Technology, we all know, as, uh, know it as MATE. Uh, Rajiv Karwal, uh, founder and CEO of Milagro, a consultancy that works closely with small and medium enterprises. Suresh Khanna, Secretary General of Siama, thank you very much for joining us. And Vishnu Dosad, Managing Director of Nuclear Software, the voice of medium uh, sized companies in the IT space. We have Kumar Guerra, who is the chairman of the Confederation of Real Estate Developers Association of India, joining us on, uh, from uh, Pune. Thank you very much for joining us on the show as well. I'm sure there's a lot that each sector wants from Budget 2009. But then if I asked you to distill it to two concerns, primary concerns for your sector, what are they? Well, I think uh, whether it is the SMEs or otherwise, uh, one of the biggest concerns is stability in policies, right? You've seen so much of ups and downs every single year and maybe in much more last six months. What we would want stability in the excise rate, 8% uh, is something that we have been asking since 1996. So it took us 13 years to deliver that and we wish that to stay. And secondly, if I were to honestly distilled down to the SMEs, I think there's a lot of cash crunch there, you know. Uh, maybe from an IT industry perspective, we would want uh, some kind of loans made available to them, maybe subsidized loans. There should be a definite kitty available for the SME so that they can buy IT. I'm not looking at the other cash flow issues, but I'm saying can we have, say, uh, a 500 crore kitty and every single bank gives loans out of that kitty to the software industry for, uh, to the uh, SMEs for buying hardware, software, connectivity, have a solution in place that would really make them very, very efficient. We know that IT adoption in SMEs is very, very Not low. And you're saying let's find a way to incentivize yes, this because it will help their operations absolutely. as well. So there is an indirect uh, benefit, coming, benefit in. coming in for you. 8% excise, I know that that's what you're hoping will remain in your sector as well because uh, durables have seen the benefit of the stimulus packages that came through and that's why there has been steady growth in this sector. Yeah, you see, we have been able to fight the slowdown because of this reduction in excise duty. But coming to two points that you're talking about, I would say that, you know, the demand would grow but, uh, in our sector because of the prime reason that uh, economy is growing and the penetration levels are low. What is of concern to us and to everybody else it should be that manufacturing is not growing. So what the government needs to uh, do is to incentivize the manufacturing in India. And the second thing which S particularly for SMEs is simplification of procedures. The transaction cost is so high. Okay. Changing gears entirely to uh, ID software, and perhaps I should have extended the conversation from Vinny to uh, Vishnu. But uh, on the tax front, I can guess quite easily what the software industry is looking for. But let you, let me, let you voice it. Yeah, I think uh, STPI is one of the best uh, things that that government of India did uh, to the uh, software industry, and it must continue doing that uh, for uh, at least another decade for units under 500 crores of uh, revenue. That would go a long, long way. And the second thing uh, that uh, we have to start working on very effectively for a long-term sustenance of uh, this particular industry is the education sector. One of the reasons we have, we are getting uh, out uh, competed in the global market is our co costs are going high. And those will keep going high uh, till the time we have a very good supply of uh, you know educated uh, youth coming into the industry 